Jeff. Hi, how are you folks today? We're good, Jeff. Where are you calling from? I'm uh, calling from uh, San Luis Obispo, actually. I just have you on speakerphone. Does it sound different? Yeah, yeah it sounds like you're really far away. Right? Oh, is, it, is this a little bit better? No, but uh, don't worry about it. Sorry about What's that. Oh, I'd, right. I'd like to point out, number one, uh, the Laos callers had a, a few good points. It's very expensive for, if you want to become a citizen here, and a lot of ho uh, hoops you have to jump through, very expensive for most people around the world. But, that being said, uh, what you're proposing is bringing uh, several different people as refugees and taking them in and certainly that would include housing them and giving them uh, food stamp type benefits and medical, correct? Because you don't plan on bringing them here and having them homeless, correct? That's not the plan, though. It, it, I mean, that would that be safe to assume that that is part of your plan? Well, so Jeff, where are you going with this? We're almost out of time. Well, where I am going with this, Dave, is right here on American soil, we have a chronic homeless problem with Americans. And do you feel that since they've been here for a long time, that they should be uh, considered first or at all? To have the same benefits as the uh, the immigrants you want to bring in. I mean, I want to know how many people are uh, people who came in through the southern border. I have a feeling that the people who are coming into this country are pretty hardworking people. Well, I, the the people that are coming into the country, they're hardworking. I well, you're dodging the question. My question was. Oh. The, these people, obviously, they do not have jobs or sponsors or money right now. They're refugees. They're running for their lives, right? So you're going to give them medical, housing, and food. My question, again, is here in America, we already have people that are suffering. They're living in tents or in creeks. We have a chronic homeless problem do we ignore that here and attend to other country refugees? Do we handle them all the same, equally? Or do we ignore the one, our refugees here, our American refugees? Hello? I got, I got hung up on here. Let's see what he has to say. Emphasis on refugees over homeless people who are already here, Michael. Well, we got that's two different issues. Uh, let me tell you where Jeff is wrong on this. Uh, first of all, the homeless issue is a mental health crisis that's going on in this country. That is a whole different show that I will gladly get into some other time. The second part is this idea that people are going to be coming from, for example, in Haiti or Afghanistan and coming to this country and saying, hey, where's my free food stamps? Where's my free this? Where's my free that? That is clearly, clearly not what's going on here. And let's go back to this other point of, of Biden, the Biden administration and the 62,000 people a year uh, cap that we have that uh, he's proposing right now. Under Reagan, under Ronald Reagan, for the first couple of years that Ronald Reagan was president, our refugee Did cap that him? we had every year was anywhere from 150 to 200,000 a year under Ronald Reagan. All right. Let me get to Bob I mean, in wait, San Luis on KBEC. Hi, Bob. Hi, Dave. Hi, Michael. Hi, Bob. Hey. The caller, Don, was uh, ignoring Which the one? fact that... We had, we had two. The, you know, the one who mentioned uh, that uh, uh, Trump had it right and they should, uh, uh, you know, they shouldn't be able to set foot on What's the... What's that? Yeah. Uh, on my phone. Maybe I can get in. I'm going to ask the same question. <clears throat> I'm going to plug right side up, too. <laughs> Speaker? Yeah. Go ahead and hit this and then speak. Something You're going to talk now? <clears throat> I don't know how this works, but. JVEC, what's your name? Laura Lee. Oh, how do you 
L A U R A, capital L E E. Right. Thank you so much for pointing that out. I, I, I've known that one, and I forgot about it, and I didn't bring it up. I'm so glad you did. All right. Let me, let me jump in if I may. Time is tight. Bob, thank you. Let me get to Laura Lee. And, but Laura Lee, I only got about 30 seconds. Hey, um, I just want to bring up the homeless thing again. We have our hands full already in the U United States with the homeless, and Jeff had a good point. Can, um, how are you going to address um, a lot more homeless? It seems like it's going to multiply like crazy with the refugees and homeless in the same right. camp. Please, thank you. But again, it's going to multiply like crazy with the refugees and homeless. We're out of time. Laura Lee, thank you. But again, on Michael's point, that's a different issue because refugees aren't always homeless people, right, Michael? That's exactly right. Homelessness is an issue of, um, it's a mental health issue. It's a lot of other issues that we can get into in another show. Uh, Michael, Aaron, Woody, okay. always a pleasure. Good job, sir. Maybe Short we need to thought. have another show. And yeah, Jeff we can as go a country have to stop looking Michael. at uh, refugee issues this. and immigration issues. Or we can ask Michael to come on, on right to Spike's Solution. We have to start looking at it as a long-term, how did those countries get to the point? What was our role and what is our moral duty? Let's see what we can put together. Thank you, Michael. Bye. Thank you.